Howdy folks, welcome to Plumbing with Tim. Today we're on location in beautiful Melbourne Beach, Florida. So about a couple years ago, I posted a video out here on my channel on how to work on an old artesian well, uh, and that was the head on that. So today we're down here, We've got a customer that has an artesian well, and it's not the main that's leaking. They have an offshoot um, kind of spigot for a hose, and the hose won't shut itself off, but it's screwed into galvanized. So we're gonna take a big chance and see if we can't get that thing off there and put a new one on her. Wish me luck. All right, so here we are. Here's our little booger for today. Right there. And it won't shut off. You can see it constantly dripping and stuff. And we need to try to get that off of there. If you look closely, that pipe has got some corrosion on it right there. The rest of the pipe looks good. Now, if I can't unscrew that valve, from the threads on that galvanized then we're gonna have to go to contingency plant and cut that and try to put some sort of a dresser coupling on there hopefully not if you look closely down here there's a water main shut off it's about a two inch main for the artesian well we're not trying to get into that main we're just trying to change that spigot out you have yourself go with this this is a house this whole house is ran off of deep well artesian system uh, that supplies the whole house. Now, if you don't know or not, artesian wells are very sulfuric. So you need well treatment system uh, completely or else it'll end up ruining your fixtures inside the house. So uh, we're waiting on some fittings and then we'll get ready to tackle that bad boy. Now we're waiting on some parts to come in. I'm gonna take some Miracle Spray Hilco Loop. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spray around the top of this. Hopefully break the catalyst on there, not the threads of the pipe. And that'll give us enough time by the time parts get here, hopefully we'll that loosen that thing up. Let's hope. All right, so we're back and I've got some fittings and stuff. What my plans are is to try to back this little valve off here. Now, I wasn't able to get another valve just like that, so what we're going to do is, if indeed we're lucky enough to get that valve off there, I'm going to go ahead and put a shut-off valve on there and then screw a spigot on top of there in case he's got to change it out again. Bells usually are about 20 to 25 pounds of pressure. That's if it's coming up out of a 2-inch line. Unfortunately, because that looks like it's about a 3-quarter inch galvanized, it's double the pressure. So if that valve does unscrew and we get lucky, it's going to be roaring like a geyser out of there. And we got to work under pressure. I got to clean the threads, Teflon tape, and some pipe dope on there and try to screw the new valve on there. So we're going to get wet. Ultimately, this is what we're looking at wanting to put back on the artesian well. All right. That way, if he's got to replace this valve, and he will in time because it's the beach and everything rusts with salt air, he can turn it off and unscrew that and put a new one in. Let's hope we don't end up breaking those threads and have to cut that and put some sort of a dresser coupling on there. Oh God, I'm nervous. Please. Oh, it's turning. It's turning. Oh, look at that. Oh yes, we got lucky so far. She's turning. Okay, now I'm gonna open up that valve to relieve that pressure and try to get the rest of the way off. All right, let's see if we can get that thing to turn more. Oh, look at it. It's moving. Now I'm gonna have to open that valve up because if not, that thing's gonna blow off here like a geyser. Here we go. Hold on. There we go. Time to get wet. There we go. There we go. It's coming off. Ugh. There she is. All right. Let's take a look and see what the, the shape of those threads are. Look pretty good. Now I'm going to have to put some pipe dope on there and try to put a new valve on there. So that's our next step. Woo, stinky. Okay, here we go. Pipe dope. That's what we can do right now. See if it'll stick them threads. 
getting wet. Getting wet. All right. Time for the shutoff valve. Come on, baby. All right, we're getting wet. Turn it off. We're wet. Well, the water stopped. I am soaking wet. So now it's time to put that hose bib on there and we'll call it a, a successful job. All right, we're working with three quarter here. We put a uh, ball valve in there, an IPS ball valve, three quarter inch, uh, for a couple reasons, because it was easier to shut the thing down while we were working. And we were successful at backing that thing out. I would not suggest anybody trying to do something like this, call yourself a licensed plumber or a well specialist, because the chances are better at breaking those threads than they are actually taking it off like I did, which just happened to be our lucky day. A little bit of pipe dope, and we're gonna install that on there, and that's it. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? Like I said, being on the beach, salt air eats everything up. Yeah. So we put this valve on here so the customer can actually, in a few years, when the salt takes over, he can turn that valve off and he can change that valve, this valve, out by himself without calling another plumber up there. Not bad. <laughs> the plumbing gods were definitely smiling upon us today. Listen. That wasn't, that was a little bit of luck and a little bit of patience because that usually doesn't happen. I was totally expecting it to snap those threads and have to go the dresser coupling way and stuff, but we got lucky <laughs> and I'm soaked. That's all the time we got for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out, watching the nonsense. Like I said, that was tricky and part of me might be a little bit lucky or a little bit uh, adventurous or just straight up stupid for trying to take that off an old, galvanized pipe because most of the time it's going to break that thread off there so be careful if you're deciding to do something like this spray it very well with lube and cross your fingers thanks so much for hanging out with me any questions or comments leave them down below give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe until next time this has been plumbing with tim keep plumbing